Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance, and today I want to show you a project I've been working on. I've been building a custom joystick for my Apple IIc uh, using a thumb joystick. And I got this idea originally off of Quinn Dunkey's blog, um, and she got the idea from some other people. Um, and it worked out great, so let's get started. Okay, so here is the joystick itself. Uh, you can see there's a cable coming out of the back of the Apple IIe. Um, this cable has six lines coming out of it, so this is going to the joystick port on the Apple IIe. Um, the six lines are uh, ground, plus five volts, paddle zero, paddle one, and then switch zero and switch one. And over on the left hand side you can see I've got the thumb joystick. I got this off of the Parallax website. Uh, initially I tried to just cannibalize one out of an old Xbox controller. Uh, but it didn't seem to actually go down to zero. Uh, so that didn't work. And then I tried one off of SparkFun's website. Uh, but that one just didn't have very good uh, uh, control. You would push it. Uh, one direction and both directions, up and down, left, right, would respond. Uh, so finally I just went with the one off of the Parallax website, which is what I should have done in the first place. Uh, so basically we've got the thumb joystick on the left, uh, two buttons on the right, and the buttons are just hooked up to the uh, switch 0 and switch 1 uh, with a couple resistors in line uh, just to provide the, um, the sync to ground when the button isn't pressed. And then the only tricky part is with the thumb joystick, uh, these are now 10 kilo ohms for the um, uh, potentiometer, and the Apple expects 150 kilo ohms. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to put some capacitors uh, in parallel with the um, uh, with the joystick, and so basically this just uh, changes the frequency of the uh, uh, the timing circuit inside the Apple IIe. Uh, so it's a little difficult to see, but inside um, this mess of wires here, I've got uh, 0.37 microfarad uh, capacitors um, on each of the axes, the left, right, and up, down for the joystick. And then I also added a pair of 10K pots here, just so we can tweak the, uh, the actual final values. And these are just like the little switches on a, uh, uh, an old joystick, where you just need to tweak it to get the midpoint correct. Uh, so once we got everything wired up and soldered together, uh, I just wrote a little quick program uh, to test it out. And so you can see over here, uh, there's four columns of numbers. The first two are the left, right, up, down. And then the last two are whether the button is pressed or not. Uh, so as we move the joystick to the left, uh, you can see the left one goes down to zero. Move it to the right. Uh, it goes up to 255. We'll go up. And the up-down goes to zero, we'll move down, and it goes to 255. And then finally we can press the buttons. So that's button one there, you can see we're over on the far right. And then button zero, uh, when we press that it goes to the middle. Uh, so my next step is to build a custom 3D case on a 3D printer. But uh, I think I'll save that for the next episode. So thanks for watching.